These are the items I just picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'm using them for my front door. This I'm actually putting in the entryway on the inside. We really celebrate Resurrection Sunday, but um, I did think this was really cute. I like the um, sparkle around here. And when I saw this, I pulled the sticker off already, but I figured I could repurpose this. I can always flip this around for the rest of spring. And I wanna try to make this match my teal and rose gold theme. So that's my plan for that. And I'll show you how I'm repurposing that item and this one. I like, I really like frogs and turtles. So I thought this was really cute. It just hangs a little chain. And this is not the color that I wanted. So I'm actually gonna try to make this teal instead of the blue just so it can go and then it doesn't pop on my door it kind of blends in too much so I'm gonna find a way to put this against something so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix that up to make it stand out a little bit better I have this sign I got this from Michaels for the Christmas season and it easily comes apart, so I'm just gonna use this. I've already taken it apart, this just snaps down. So I'm gonna paint this side of it white and then I'm gonna slide it back in here. And the frog is gonna be attached. So I took one of the links out on this side already and I'm gonna take out the link on this side. And I'm actually gonna paint both of these white because I, I like to start with a, a bright color underneath so the color that I want to put on top of that will stand out much better. Just let this dry and I'm going to paint this part of the butterfly the same way the only thing is once the paint once I'm done painting I will um, add some glitter So next I'm using some Mod Podge to act as the glue. I have spray adhesive. I thought I had spray adhesive somewhere, but I can't find it. So I'm using the Mod Podge as glue. Um, 
I had to water it down because it's pretty thick. But I'm just going to paint the Mod Podge right over this. And then I'm going to add the glitter. I'm just going to sprinkle this on. Next I have these letters that I got from, I used this in a previous project. And I wanted to put something on the butterfly. I had no idea what to put. So I'm just going to put the word love. Can't go wrong with that word most of the time. So, I'm um, just using that. I'm missing a sheet, so I have L-O-V, but I didn't have an E. But the V has, if you turn it sideways, has an E. So I'm gonna use this V for the love, and I'm gonna cut this part off and use that as the E. And then I'm gonna stick them on here. But before I do that, I'm gonna spray paint these with my copper spray paint or my rose gold. and. So it's going to have the rose gold letters on top of the teal. Okay, so everything's dry now. This is the spray paint I used on the letters. And here are the letters. That looks good to me. So we'll press it down and let that be it. So there it is. And then we're just gonna put the, the um, butterfly back together. Okay, so the last thing we were gonna do is update the little frog welcome sign. So I did paint it teal. It matches the butterfly. And then the frog was left over with his two little chain links. And I did paint this butterfly teal to make it match. I'm just going to glue this on with hot glue. And then the frog will hang from it in the same way it was before. And I'll show you that next. It's gonna go back into this frame. I'm just gonna squeeze it in there. There we go. All right, so it's gonna hang like this from the door. And I probably will put a dot of glue just on the two top corners up here to hold it, hold it on. So. Next, I'll just show you how it looks on the door. <laughs> 